conventional way of moving an object is to keep adding numbers to its position to move forward and to keep adding negative numbers to move backward. In chipmunk physics, we cannot move an object by keep changing its position. Rather, chipmunk physics offers a delicate and artistic method to move an object by applying force to it. There are two basic types of forces that we can apply on an object. We can either apply impulse or we can apply force to an object. An impulse is a very large force applied over a very short period of time. Whereas force is a large force that has a long lasting effect on an object. Both impulse and force affects the mass of an object, doubling the mass of an object will halve the effect of forces. Let's discuss the code. In order to apply force, we point to entities and then point to Simon physics system through physics variable. Then among the entities, we point to moon entity and then we refer to physics component of moon body. Then we apply force on the body. Let's see the output with applying impulse first and then applying force on an object. To learn more about physics body, we can type in help and in parentheses we can type in body. That will bring out the documentation of the body and we can read in more attributes to play around with the physics body.